Hey, 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 happy gift guides. Christmas is fast approaching and I thought it'd be really helpful to do a gift guide for you guys, all full of like vegan products, cruelty-free products, ethical products, that sort of stuff, the things we're always doing. I didn't want to do a video which was like for mum, for dad, etc. because just, it doesn't really work. So I've done gift guides for like four different personalities. I've divided up my gifts into stuff for a sporty person, a pamper gift set, something for animal lovers and another one which was um, kind of like a sleepy, relaxing sort of gift set. So I've literally just wrapped them all up for Instagram and not all of them are full of new things, I'm gonna be honest. Some stuff I have just taken from my shelf, stuff that I love and just been like, this would make a great gift for someone who is interested in this. We'll go through it. But yeah, I just hope this inspires you guys and helps you shop from smaller businesses, from ethical businesses and just buy better products. So yes, this is the one for the animal lover and it's also got a special box too. I figured I would go hard on this category just because we love animals here. I think that is kind of my target audience. So first up, let's unravel this. Oh, that came off so well. This is something that I was gifted and I am planning on giving to my sister for Christmas. She is pregnant and I think this would go really nicely in her nursery, which is safari themed. So this bag here helps out elephants and they're partnered with the Sheldrick Trust and it's part of their conservation collection. So they have a few other designs, but I just thought this one's cutest. And my sister has a lot of stuff in this like greenish color. So I just thought it'd be nice to get that for her nursery. And also like having the mama elephant and the baby elephant, I just thought perfect gift. So my sister's not really an animal lover, but to be able to get her a gift, which I know she'll love and know that I'm supporting conservation charity, I quite like that. I, I also think Elizabeth Shaw do a lot of beautiful products. So not from their conservation collection. I've got like a makeup bag, a little like beauty pouch as well, both from them because they do beautiful embroidered products. And then we have the gift wrap. We have some fragile in here, so I'm gonna try and unwrap this rather gently. First up we have these snow leopard socks. This helps out the snow leopards. It is a partnership WWF and I'll leave the name of the sock company because it has just escaped me. But these are just quite cute socks. It comes in plastic free packaging and they're quite nice. I think I'm probably gonna keep these for myself but these were um, kindly donated for my gift guide. They are made with 85% GOTS certified organic cotton so that's nice as well to see that step being taken into place. But yeah. I like the look of these. I also have this Be Vive gift set, it's like their festive edition, but I think that just means to put a Christmas hat on this. Basically this has sugared water in it, and if you ever see a bee struggling, it means they're kind of like out of energy, and if you can just give them drops of this, it can help them revive and get home safely. So if you want to help out the bees, this is a wonderful present, or if you know someone who cares about bees and wildlife, I think they'll really love this as well. I've wanted one of these for ages, so kind of, I don't think I'll give it to anyone. I think I'm just gonna put this on my own keychain because it'll be nice to help them out. It's not something you'd really think about in the winter either because it's more of a summer problem. So it's a nice little gift. And I got that from Freedom Street. And then we have this elephant gin. I've already gotten through a bottle of this this year. It is delicious. This is another gift that helps out with elephant conservation. And this is their orange and cacao gin, which is really, really delicious. And I think it's quite festive as well. I had mine with like a Mediterranean tonic, I believe, if I remember right. 15% of bottle profits are donated to African elephant conservation activities. So this is a lovely gift for someone who likes gin, someone who likes festive flavors, and someone that loves elephants. Finally, in this gift set, we have this chocolate Tuantu the orangutan. It is dark chocolate, vegan friendly, and it donates to SOS, the Sumatran Orangutan Society. Three pound fifty from sale of each chocolate orangutan will go towards planting cocoa tree seedlings in Sumatra, which will help to restore ecosystems damaged by deforestation. I really respect this charity. I'm really happy to find a product that supports them and the orangutans, and it's chocolate. Oh, round winner. It smells delicious. I'm gonna feel bad about eating him. Oh well. There we go, that was the animal one. And I used a lush scarf to wrap that all up. So this is their woodland one. So it had a lot of animals on it. So I felt like that really went with the theme as well. Next gift set is more of a sleepy one. So this is a good gift for someone who likes to unwind and relax or that you think needs to unwind and relax a bit more. So first up we have a reusable sheet mask. This is from Fair Square. So everything's like fair trade and vegan. So it has an argan oil style face mask solution and then a reusable face cloth that you soak in the solution. So it's like having a sheet mask 
but it's not single use so it is better for the environment so I recommend that we also have this beauty stone from Lani it's a small business so I think they're based like in the Midlands maybe like Nottingham area uh, they've got this little beauty stone I got this from the Freedom Street advent and I thought it would make a really lovely gift for anyone who wants to like do face massage really take time with that these are really good I just recommend that whoever has this uses it lightly and watches a video online and that really teaches them how to use it but I think it's a nice gift for anyone who likes to pamper themselves and really take the time with their skincare. We have this Hyg diffuser. This is from K and R London. I wouldn't say it's hard to find vegan diffusers, but I find that a lot of companies do candles, but you don't see as many doing diffusers. Oh, that smells so nice. Obviously, when you get too close, it's a bit much. It's just quite a cozy scent, and I just think it's really nice for a night in, I guess. It's just a lovely cozy scent. And this is a lovely husband and wife duo owned business, um, black owned business too. Just, I've met them at a market a few years back, and they were just the loveliest people, so I've been really happy whenever I've seen them in shops or anything. Happy to support them again. And yeah, when I saw them at that market years ago, we got um, a candle and a diffuser, and they were both delicious, just so nice. So, really recommend. And then here here we have a plastic free restorative hair mask. This is like vegan keratin for damaged hair and it's from We Are Paradox. I just thought it was nice to add in a little plastic free treat. It's such a thick texture. You can just see how thick it is. I love a thick conditioner and I love that it calls itself like vegan keratin. I'm interested in that. Yes, another lovely gift that is eco-friendly as well as vegan. And then finally, I wanted to recommend the Goddess perfume from Lush in here as well. And this is just a beautiful perfume. It's been one of my favorites this year and you can see how much I've used of it. This is one of those products, which is just like my product, something that I use, but I still would recommend it as a gift. They also do like goddess bath bombs as well if you don't want to commit too much to a perfume because they are quite expensive and obviously they're quite personal too. But I recommend the goddess range for making anyone feel like a goddess. I think this one would be my favorite gift set to receive personally, but I do love a nice pamper. Next up, we have the sporty gift set. This is for someone who is particularly active, I guess. It's full of products, which kind of helps with that lifestyle. So first up, this is definitely a well-loved looking product, but it's the all-in-one wonder balm from Ohana. This balm is incredible if you have sore muscles. Ohana are a brand that use CBD in their skincare, and that is what makes this wonder balm just so nice. CBD is so good for soothing sore muscles, so I really recommend this. Anytime I feel particularly sore, I use this and it sorts me out so much better than anything else, so really, really recommend that. It is quite pricey, but it's because it's really good quality. I also have this Time to Ease Muscle Relax Body Oil Blend, which is from Alexandra K. Another product which is just really good for soothing muscles. You can rub it in on your skin, you can drip it in the bath, you can do whatever you want with it, but I think it's quite nice. And it also looks kind of like masculine as well, if you're thinking of buying for a guy who likes his stuff to be blue, not pink. Hopefully those sort of attitudes are dying out, but just in case, this might be helpful. I also recommend workout gear. So this probably could do an iron. I think it looks a bit creased. This is one of my workout shirts from Organic Basics. I thoroughly like them. This one um, in particular is very lightweight, really nice to run in, keeps me warm enough. And I also recommend Tala for their sustainable workout gear as well. So that's two companies you can check out. If you guys know more, please leave them, recommend them down below. I also have this smart plant vegan protein bar. This was recommended to me by my friend Christina. I took her in Tondon Barrett yesterday because she loves working out, loves protein. I was like, which protein bar do you recommend? What is good for someone who actually likes this stuff? She does actually care about the performance of them. So if anyone's a bit of like a protein snob, this should settle them right down. This is smart plant, salt caramel, vegan, 20 grams of protein. Yes, that's good. And I just can't help myself but recommend a Lush product. I actually tried to get their CBD 420 bath bomb, but they were sold out, so I had to get the CBD bubble bar. But this smells wonderful. I've not used it yet, so I'm looking forward to using it myself. But it's again, it's just another soothing CBD product. I really do recommend them for anyone who works out a lot. If you're interested in getting any one vegan protein powder, I recommend Form Nutrition. That's my personal favorite. I'll leave that link down below as well, but that's just another optional add-on. Another not wrap from Lush used this time. I got the one with the elves dancing, but I felt like that was kind of athletic as well as festive. And then the final one, what was this one? This one's a sleepy package. I absolutely adore this gift wrap, by the way. Oh, it's so beautiful. Yeah, this is a very relaxed, unwind, enjoy your sleep, enjoy your rest sort of gift. Starting off with some 
bath soak. This is from Skin and Tonic. It is a slow down bath soak. Again, another product with CBD. I seem to have really drawn myself to it, but it's also got like cedarwood and eucalyptus, lots of salts in here. Personally, I love bath, so this is always good, but whenever you buy bath products, please try and make sure the person you're buying for has a bath, because there's nothing worse than when you don't have a bath and people buy you the most gorgeous bath things. Also in our resting gift, we have this eye cream. This is from Biosense. They are a lovely skincare brand and this is made with squalane and marine algae eye cream thing is really nice eye cream does tend to be quite expensive so it is a nice thing to gift at christmas because eye creams don't vary that much a good eye cream is generally just a good eye cream for pretty much anyone and this one is a nice one it's kind of bougie the brand is pretty expensive so i think that makes it a really lovely gift because sometimes people just won't spend this sort of money on themselves but it's a real treat when you do get someone doing that all these gifts by the way i'm not saying you have to buy every item in them i just think it's inspiration, right? Back onto bath. Personally, I love bath products at Christmas, so I am seeing that this was a slightly biased video. But um, sadly, basically, when I went shopping to Lush yesterday for this video, um, the rain was torrential, just horrendous. It was hailing, so the products did get a little bit hammered, and this poor little bear lost his nose. He's usually a lot cuter. Oh my God. It's one of my favorite ones. He smells of lavender. And because he's a little bit smaller, he's one of the cheapest bar forms you can find in Lush. So it's a really nice treat that you can get, which is um, not too expensive. And then here we have a vegan silk cushion cover. I got gifted this earlier this year and I do really enjoy it. It is nice if you want to like sleep on silky materials because it is meant to be better for your skin and your hair. And then you can just like remove the cover and throw it in the wash. So I just have a pillow like this and it will cover that quite nicely. Oh, I do love it. It's really nice, but it's like only a half cushion cover, so keep that in mind. It doesn't bother me, but it might bother some people. I think it might be called Sleep Goddess, but I'll double check the brand name. But yeah, that is another black owned business, and I really enjoyed this product. I think I might ask for a second one for Christmas because I've only got the one. And here I have a Hydro Glow sleep mask. It is an age defy plus range, and it's from Green People, so it's like really eco-friendly as well as vegan and cruelty free and I just love this mask you can see I've used quite a bit of it against one of those products that's a little bit more expensive than the regular product so it'll be a nice treat anyone 25 plus would probably enjoy this and then that is it let's appreciate how gorgeous this one is and it is massive too I spent a fortune on knot wraps yesterday I bought three of them as well as the bubble bar and the little bear and it cost me 30 quid so I wouldn't say these are the cheapest things it is a great sustainable option when you're wrapping up gifts but I understand that it's not affordable for everyone I think normally they cost about five pounds but this one may have been more expensive because this one's massive yeah they can be reused so basically this one could easily be reused as a tapestry or someone else can regift a bit you can have it kind of like as a scarf a little bit but the smaller ones you can use as hair ties bandanas things like that so it's quite nice to have the product it's, it's another part of the gift if that makes sense so i quite like that about them but anyway yeah that is it i really need to tidy up thank you guys so much for joining me i hope this has been helpful i hope you've had a good time please leave any recommendations down below if there are any really lovely small businesses that you think anyone here or myself would be interested in checking out please do comment them i really love to use christmas as an opportunity to support small businesses it's one time of year where we're probably spending money on stuff that we don't need and if we're gonna spend that money let's spend it in the right places please if we can avoid amazon prime that would just that that's the goal that is the ideal thank you guys so much merry christmas and mwah, have a lovely day okay bye mwah.